Good morning, everyone. It's Ange. I'm in my happy place, the lake. I'm on Lake Okanagan. It is a gorgeous Saturday morning, and um, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to go jump on my paddleboard and go for a little paddle. So I just thought I'd stop and chat for a few minutes. Um, yeah, I. After my last video, I've just sort of been reflecting over the last couple of days about, you know, my new roles in life. Well, I mean, they're not that new. I've been doing them for three years. But, um, you know, now, now helping my husband so much and, um, and what that's like and how I can share that with you. So today, I'll flip the phone around for a second. So today... I thought I would chat about asking for help because if you're new to this, it's hard asking for help. It's not easy. And at the very beginning, I didn't know how to ask for help. I was super independent. I didn't want anyone to see my weaknesses. I didn't want people to, I guess, judge me or think less of me if I couldn't do something. You know, I wanted to do it all. And the truth of the fact of the matter is I, I wasn't able to do it all. Things started to sort of crumble, um, you know, here and there. Um, you know, I'd start forgetting to do things. So, because it was just a lot and there was so much going on, um, you know, between all of my husband's doctor's appointments, driving the kids to school and their appointments. I was still working, um, I would say 30, to 35 hours a week um, you know and trying to do my job and get that in between so it was um, it was a lot so how do you ask for help and um, how do you I mean you can go you just ask for help and it's not that hard but you know in in the whole scheme of it like it is because you just feel like you should be doing it all and but you can't um, so, so I guess what I'm saying is ask for help, even though it's hard. And the places that I got help were, um, if I was taking Julian to an appointment, I would ask a friend to pick up the girls if they needed to be picked up. Um, the other thing that I really, really, really appreciated help with was dinners. And so many people were so kind and dropped off dinners. I had friends, you know, that set up meal plans for when Julian, like the first three months when, well, for probably for the first couple months when we were back. Um, that was so helpful. Um, just being able to come home and not have to, having to worry about cooking dinner. I had friends that just stopped by to work in my garden and deadhead flowers and keep it tidy for me. Um, I had other friends mowing my lawn. They would just stop in, go grab the mower and go do things. So there's, you know, you don't think that there's lots of things that people can help with, but if you start to think about it, there's a lot people can do um, to help you. Um, you know, I didn't have people cleaning my house or, I mean, that would be nice, but ask for someone to help you clean the house. If someone asks you, what do you need help with? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask or to tell them. Don't be afraid to say, you know what? I haven't had a chance to do four loads of laundry. Um, you know, I haven't had a chance to walk my dog. I haven't had a chance to, to just go take a walk for myself. Um, do you want to come with me? Because that's, I need help. I need someone to talk to because it's a lot right now. So yeah, I, that's, that's the gist of my, my chat this morning is don't be afraid to ask for help. Write a list of all the things that you need for help. If it's feeling overwhelming, you know, write a few things down and then prioritize them. Um, you know, ask, ask some friends if they can be on your little emergency list. You know, if you can't pick up your kids or, or whoever, a parent, a cousin, an aunt, you know, if you need help picking someone up, um, you know, maybe that's, 
that's something that someone could help you with driving. Or driving your husband to an appointment if you're double booked that day. I'm sure he, or you're whoever, you're, whoever you're looking after. In my case, it was my husband. And, and sometimes I had to ask, you know, get him a ride somewhere because I had to be somewhere else. So, so yeah, so that's, it's hard. But, um, you know what, if you write it down, if you prioritize where you need the help, then that's, that makes it easier to ask. <sighs> wow, this is just, I'm just so blessed I can be out here. So my husband's sleeping right now. So being paralyzed, he, it's hard. His mornings are tough. So he's, he's sleeping and I scooted out for a few minutes to go and do my thing, do my thing for the day. Get out, be in my happy place. And just, yeah, enjoy the, enjoy the morning. It is, I can't believe it, it's 21 degrees here this morning. <laughs> it is absolutely gorgeous my little town of Summerland, BC. It's, it's just stunning. I got out here just in time. The, I was out here a couple mornings ago and I, I hesitated because I need, I wanted my coffee. And then this morning I was like, no, no coffee, get out hands, just go do it. So you can have your coffee when you get back. So you can see the lake is starting to ripple up a lot. So I'm going to keep going for my paddle here. And, um, I'm gonna, you know, yeah, keep going while it's still, still nice and calm out here and while I've got some time to, to do this um, before I have to go back and start my day. And, uh, you know, it's Saturday, so today's a nice sort of relaxing day. We've got some friends in town and we can just chill. But, you know, Monday to Friday, that's the, those are, that's the crazy days. Those are the days when things happen, appointments happen, kids are at school. And you know, Angie needs help. So, you know, three years later, it's gotten better. We've gotten into more of a routine. So I will say things get better. Things, you know, things change, things get easier. But if you're, you know, caregiving and it's, it's, um, you know, right at the beginning or, you know, you're still new into it or it's, you know, it's still fresh. Just don't be afraid at any time. I mean, I just, now I just ask for help if I need it. You know, I had my mom come and live with me for a couple weeks just to help me at the beginning. And um, that was so helpful that I was able to have a, you know, a parent come and stay with me um, and that she was able to do that. Um, oh, there's beautiful Giant's Head Mountain in the background or like, well, in the foreground for you. <laughs> I just got turned around. So maybe I'll hike up there later today and, um, take our puppies for a walk. They love that hike up there. It's gorgeous. If you ever visit Summerland, be sure to hike up to the top of Giant's Head. There's, it's spectacular views and maybe one day I'll hike up there and I'll do a little chat from up there and post that. Yeah, anyhow, you guys, um, wherever you are in you know your journey with caregiving, looking after someone, you know, it might not be your husband with a spinal cord injury, but you know, it might be an aging parent or your, you know, an, a newborn child or a child or a friend, you know, wherever you are, I just want you to know that, you know, I'm going through it with you. And, you know, I've got so much more. I just, I want to keep these short, but I've got so much more I can. You know, I want to say, um, but today I will leave this one focused on asking for help. Um, you know, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just, um, just do it. And you know, when you're, when you need to get out, ask for help, <laughs> ask for help for someone to watch everyone for an hour so you can go out and recharge and get out there and do something like this or go for a walk. Um, I talked about recharging um, a couple days ago and yeah, I want you to do that. Go and recharge. 
let me know how you recharge. Give me some ideas. I like to hike and do this. Um, I do like to bike too, but I haven't done very much of that this summer. I used to do a lot of that with my husband, but um, anyhow, this is, this is something where I can go out and yeah, get recharged for the day and I'm gonna go home and have my coffee in a little bit. All right, I have rambled and I don't like to keep these, um, I don't wanna make these too, too long. So oh, you can see the bottom, it's so clear. I just had to show you that. All right, you guys, much love from Summerland. And um, yeah, keep, uh, keep strong, stay healthy, and don't forget to ask for help. All right, love from Summerland. Have a lovely day. Bye.